Welcome to the Forum of Safety. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this. We have today a very interesting lecture with Dr. Awafat Abdullah, who is a consultant with pediatrics and a professor of pediatrics in Cairo University. And Cairo University is one of the oldest universities in the Middle East. And she's a member of the Royal College of Pediatrics and a member of the American Academy of Pediatrics and Neonatology. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed, for the nice presentation. Nice introduction. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I don't know. It's better to be here. It's okay. I want to thank the hospital administration for giving me the opportunity to take part of your precious time and talk about a nice subject, which is pediatric abdomen. Pediatric abdomen, some interesting facts about them. And uh, all I can promise is going to be a light, nice, non-boring one. Let us start. Pediatric abdomen comes to us from the Greek adjective eponymous, which is itself from onaima, which means name. They are used to honor someone who first discovered or described an anatomical structure, diagnosed a disease, or developed a medical instrument or procedure. Some famous eponyms in our lives. Can you please remind me with uh, an eponym we usually use in our life? You know, anyone? Caesarean section, for example. Down syndrome. Down syndrome, correct. Okay, America. The word America is named after Italian map maker Amerigo Vespucci. Fahrenheit. Gabriel Daniel Fahrenheit is a physicist for whom this temperature measurement is named. Zipper. The word zipper started as a brand name BF Godrich put this uh, fastener on a pair of boots he sold and called it a zipper. The name stuck and now the word is used to universally describe this type of fastener. Cardigan. I think all women know the cardigan. Cardigan started by this man, Earl Cardigan, who feel cold during the war. That's why he was tightened a part of, of his jacket around his waist. And since that time, the word cardigan started. Rule of thumb. What is the rule of thumb? As a rule of thumb. Which means, rule of thumb, if we are studying medicine, rule of thumb, as a rule of thumb, children are uh, uh, quite annoying before one year of age. It depends on the experience, not on research. This is a rule of thumb. So, a rule of thumb is a means of estimation made according to a rough and ready practical rule, not based on science or exact measurement. How we got the rule of thumb? The phrase is derived from the maximum width of a stick allowed for wife beating under English common law. This belief may have originated in a rumored state, uh, statement by the 18th century judge, Sir Francis Buller, that a man may beat his wife with a stick no wider than his thumb. The rumor produced numerous jokes and satirical satirical cartoons at Buller's expense. I don't know whether this is true or not, but till now this law is practiced. Abu Bakrazi. He is the father of all pediatricians. Although Abu Bakrazi is the most famous pediatrician all over history, but he does not have even one eponym with his name. He is a father of pediatric science, Razis, this is his name in English uh, literatures, was a great person. Person is coming from the Persian class from Turkey. A physician, scholar, and philosopher of the medieval ages, Middle Ages. He had great contributions to the field of medicine and has been regarded as the best physician of his time. He had considerable contributions to the field of pediatrics and authored the first treatise on this field. Treatise, he is the man who is writing essays about pediatric practice. When Dr. Ahmed asked me to prepare this lecture, I was thinking of 
how I'm going to outline what I'm going to say. So I thought of my Arab spirit. I thought I would start with Arab people, Arab physicians, who started this eponyms. Unfortunately, what I have found is like this. I recorded my screen as follows. As you see here, these are division of eponyms according to countries. As you see here, many countries are very famous. Egypt, or two of cases. Um, Jordan, two. Saudi Arabia, one. Syria, one. Lebanon, five. Maybe Kregler Najjar is the most common of them. And Israel, 13. Outlines. So I have to think of another way to outline our from this Arab spirit. Eponyms uh, uh, came from myth, from male physician, after female physician, after nurses, after patients, after an animal or a geographical region, banned the eponyms class not used anymore, and the funniest eponym ever. We will start with the mess. Panic attack. What is panic attack? Panic attack is feeling uh, afraid, tachycardia, sweating, pallor. When you are in an elevator, for example, when you are um, at high floors, something like that. From where this panic uh, came? Panic is a sudden sensation of fear. It may occur in some psychiatric disorders. Pan was the god of nature. Ancient Greeks believed that generally peaceful god Pan, when accidentally awakened from his nap, was giving a loud shout that scared animals and humans. And from that time, the word panic came from god, the god Pan. Hippo hippocampus. What is hippocampus? Hippocampus is a part of our brain. It is the secretary of the thalamus. Our recent memory, if you are reading now, and you are keeping memory, it is stored in hippocampus. So hippocampus is a very nice and important part in our brains. Hippocampus is a part of the human brain located under the cerebral cortex. Hippocampus, or seahorse, or sea monster, is a mythological creature depicted as having the upper body of a horse with the lower body of a fish. Hygiene. What's the meaning of hygiene? Please. So, from where this word came. Hygiene is both a branch of medical knowledge, also known as environmental health, and a set of practices for uh, preservation of health. Hygieia, in Greek and Roman mythology, was the goddess, uh, goddess, also a personification of health, cleanliness, and sanitation. Caput Midosi. Caput Midosi. Caput Midosi. Uh, uh, we used to know in uh, GIT problems, portal hypertension, when there is drowning of traffic of blood due to portal hypertension, the blood will find a way away from the liver and the congested uh, portal vein. That's why it will accumulate in branches from the portal vein. The most important of them is around the umbilicus, and it will show like Caputmidosis. So what's caputmidosis? The wavy appearance of these distended veins has been compared to the hair of Midosi. Midosi was one of three gorgons or Gilead of Greek mythology. She was once beautiful but was deprived of her charm by Minerva, one of the gods there, with huge teeth, brazen claws, uh, and snakes for her hair. And if anyone looks at her, he would turn into a stone. Cubits bow contour. This is an extra finding if anybody of the uh, uh, geology department is here. Uh, the term describes a normal variation in the contour of the inferior end plate of the third, fourth, and fifth lumbar vertebrae, as seen on anthroposterior radiograph of the lumbar spine. It's important not to mistake this inferior end plate for some pathologist process that could uh, cause bone weakness and deform his atlas. Atlas, where is Atlas? It is the first cervical bone, and uh, it is articulating with the occiput, 
So it is the one which is carrying our brain. So Atlas is the first cervical vertebrae which supports the skull by articulating with the occipital bone at the base of the skull. It is named after Atlas, who was condemned to support the heavens on his shoulders. In Greek mythology, Atlas was a titan, titan, uh, whose bulk uh, um, surpassed that of other men. He was the leader of the Titan Rebellion, Rebellion Revolution, against Zeus, one of the gods, and he got a fitting punishment after the end of the Tano Mashi. He was condemned to eternally hold up the sky. He increased in bulk until he became a mountain on which the heavens, stars, and the earth rest, as does the skull on vertebral column. Delphian note, Delphian note is an ominous sign. If they find it, it is a sign that something bad is going uh, on in this area, for example, a cancer. Delphian note is located in the midline fascia of the anterior neck overlying the thyroid isthmus. It is uh, so-called because of uh, affection with the predacts thyroid disease or can be secondary deposit from laryngeal cancer. It came from the then uh, from the, uh, the honor of the Greek oracle that would foretell disaster to those clever enough to correctly interpret its correct messages. It cannot get a direct message. It gives a correct message, and if someone who is intelligent enough, he can translate this message and knows it was a this is a, a good sign or a bad sign for him. Rapunzel syndrome. This is one of the MD cases. Uh, I, uh, we have a Rapunzel syndrome in our MD. Rapunzel syndrome? Uh, it is a trichotillomania with eating of her. Because women have her, so it is more common in women. Rapunzel syndrome is an unusual form of trichobezoar found in patients with a history of psychiatric disorder, trichotillomania, habit of hair pulling, and trichophagia, morbid habit of chewing the hair, consequently, developing gastric buzzwords. The principal symptoms are vomiting and epigastric pain. From where this buzzword, this um, uh, uh, Rapunzel came. That syndrome is named after the fairy tale princess with amazing long flowing hair. When she was 12 years of age, a sorcerer or a magician locked her up in a tower with neither windows nor a door, just a tiny room with only one small window at the top and Rapunzel used her hair to help visitors to go up to her. Undine curse. Undine curse, the inability to ventilate. This can be found in natal ICU because they are not surviving. Congenital central hypoventilation syndrome. This strange entity is characterized by loss of automatic control during deep sleep in the absence of a primary disease. The nymph. Andin was an immortal water spirit who became human after falling in love with a man, marrying him and having a baby. In one of the version of the tale, when she caught her husband with another woman, she cursed him to remain awake in order to control his own breathing. Munch, Munchausen syndrome by proxy. If Munchausen syndrome in adults is called just Munchausen syndrome, but if it is in children, he is not the one who is pretending the disease. It is his mother or his relative. Most of the Munchausen syndrome are through nurses because they know how to, um, um, to know diseases and to, to, and to, uh, to translate uh, the, the symptoms as diseases. So if it is in children, it's called Munchausen syndrome by proxy, by a relative. It is a psychological disorder where someone pretends to be ill or deliberately reduce symptoms of illness in uh, themselves. Their main intention is to assume the sick rule so that people care for them and they are the center of attention. Who is Munchausen? Friedrich uh, Hieronymus, Baron of Munchausen, was a German cavalry, Paris, officer who uh, um, enlisted in the Russian army. He told an uh, extravagant, amazing, and fantastic story about how strong he is, and he was alive. He did not even attend the war, he was fighting. That's why whenever anyone was pretending someone, he's called Munchausen. 
Alice in Wonderland, Alice Bibila de la Gay, Alice in Wonderland. The logical syndrome affects a human sense of vision, hearing, and touch, as well as perception of time. It's characterized by depersonalization this or distorted perception of body image. It has been mainly described in children who have epilepsy, each time by virus, and some anticonvulsant medications. The name of this syndrome refers to the character in Lewis Carroll, uh, uh, which was written in 1865, Alice's uh, Adventure in Wonderland. This man was going on a trip with his three young sisters. They were crying most of the time. That's why he invented this story to keep them calm. And his sister, Alice, requested uh, the story to be written from him. And since that time, we know Alice in Wonderland. Achilles heel and Achilles tendon. You know Achilles heel? Okay. It is a weakness in spite of overall strength which can lead to downfall. He's very strong, but once all of the time he has pain, he has uh, some weakness in, in his heel. What is the story of this Achilles? Achilles was the bravest, most handsome, and greatest warrior of the army in the Trojan War. It was hypothesized that he will die young. That's why his mother pierced, uh, immersed him in water, holy water. So all his body was protected. Cannot, he cannot be caught. But unfortunately, she had to keep a part of his body not dipped in the river. In the river. So to catch him, she can hold him. That's why she kept a weak part in his body, which is his heel. He was brave. He stayed till he is um, 25 or 30 years. But unfortunately, he died when someone knew the story and he pierced his heel and died there. Drop syndrome. Drop syndrome is hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome. It is a part of immune deficiency syndromes and causes too many boils all over the body. If you see a child with job syndrome, you will never forget him. From where this word job came, job syndrome takes its name from the biblical character from the Bible. I don't know whether you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, from the biblical character whose body was covered with boils by Satan Ashifa. I don't know. Yes. Job is saying, I love you. Oh, well, my, my, my nice information. Um, Jekyll and uh, Hyde syndrome, Mr. Jekyll and Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde syndrome, sometimes called dissociative um, uh, identity disorder. In his novel, uh, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, Scotch author Robert Louis. Stevenson described a terrifying example of bipolar behavior in the morning. He's a nice, innocent man, and in the evening, he's a killer. There is a story that while writing this book, Stevenson was being treated with an ergot derivative. So he was not normal. Humpty Dumpty syndrome. What is Humpty Dumpty syndrome? Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty is clumsiness. Yes. means the clumsiness. Uh, Humpty Dumpty, when you refer all your symptoms to one event. Maybe as pediatrician, we face this yeah, very frequently with mothers. When he fall down on his head, he started to have abdominal pain, and he had his limping, and he has ear ache. On one event, after his father's death, something happened, and yeah, he, most of the time, she is referring all symptoms of her son to only one event. This is Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty syndrome describes a tendency to attribute a wide variety of health and other problems to a single uh, memorable event. Humpty Dumpty is a character in an English nursery rhyme, probably originating a rebel, and one of the best known in the English speaking world. The term also was a 13th century bit of slang for a short and clumsy person. What about male physicians? Fallopian tube. Fallopian tube. Uh, our bilateral conduit by, between the ovaries and uterus in the female pelvis, Fallopian tubes, are named after the 16th century Italian anatomist Gabriel Fallopio, 
the first person to provide a detailed description of the tubes. Tubes means trumpet in, in, in Italian language. But in English, they kept the name tubes. A stachian tube. A stachian tube is a small busway that connects your throat to your middle ear. It opens when we sneeze, swallow, or yawn. It's named after the 16th century Italian anatomist Bartome well, that's my own song. Bartol Bartolomeo Ostaci. He is the first who described the uh, internal and interior anterior muscles of the malleus and the stapedes and the complicated figure of the cochlea. He is the first who studied accurately the anatomy of the teeth and the phenomena of the first and second dentition. Ostaceus also discovered the adrenal glands. Vein of gallon. It is a great vein in our brain. Galenas was born at Bergamo in Turkey and died in the year of 200 after death. He was a second century Greek philosopher physician who switched to the medical profession because he father, his father wanted that. Right, you, I like this man. He's John Rai. He was born the son of Brighton doctor R.J. Rai and brother of the Oxford philosopher Gabriel Rai. And his son uh, has won a uh, uh, Nobel Prize as an astronomer. Rai made modification to the brass trap nasogastric tube introduced by Max. In Horn, it was as a result of his wife's inability to swallow because of cancer. He tried this tube on himself several times before inserting the tube and his wife, and since the time, it has taken his name. Very nice. Heimlich Maneuver. Heimlich Maneuver. A technique of abdominal thrust for stopping choking, first described in 1974. Henry uh, Judah Heimlich, an American thoracic surgeon and medical surgeon. He is widely credited in the, as the inventor of the maneuver. He also invented the micro track. Uh, trash portable oxygen system for ambulatory patients and the Heimlich chest drain valve. Down syndrome. The problem of Down is the racism because they are describing uh, uh, Down as Mongolian, coming from Far East, which is not correct and uh, racistic. So uh, it is a genetic disorder also called trisomy 21. Nowadays, better to call it trisomy 21. It includes uh, certain birth defects, learning abilities, and facial uh, features. Uh, the disease was described in details by the English physician John Langdon Down in 1862 in his paper titled Observation of an Ethnic Classification of Idiots. Down described the condition and classified people with Down syndrome as Mongolian idiots. Then the word Mongolian idiots were erased, and now we know the Down syndrome or trisomy 21. Kawasaki. Kawasaki disease, you have another name for Kawasaki disease? Mucotinous lymph node syndrome. It's very important. Yes, mucotinous. Uh, a condition that mainly affects children under the age of five years. It's known as mucotinous lymph node syndrome. Um, Tomisako Kawasaki was a Japanese pediatrician. He, ju he just died two years ago. He described Kawasaki disease, which is now the commonest cause of acquired heart disease in children in several countries. Kawasaki initial presentation, presentation met with opposition from his colleagues. They said, no, it is stealth disease. No, it is uh, something like Stephen Johnson syndrome. But he insisted it is a different entity, and he was correct. Huntington's disease, or Huntington Korea. Size and symptoms, involuntary jerking, breathing movement, muscle problem, is hereditary and progressive disorder, named after George uh, Huntington, and he described among the residents of East Hampton, Long Islands in 1872. Tay-Sac disease. Tay-Sac disease is a rare genetic disorder passed from parents to children. It's caused by the absence of an enzyme that helps break down fatty substances. This fatty substance called ganglicides build up to uh, toxic um, live, um, materials in the brain, when they increase, they accumulate in brain spinal cord and affect function of the nerve cells. 
and so both of their names are attached to this genetic disorder, Warren, Tay, and Biran Saf did not work together, even they were not in the same country. Tay, a British ophthalmologist, and Saf is a colleague uh, of Beryl Cron uh, at Mountain Sinai Hospital, described the similar affection of the disease and its prevalence among Ashkenazi Jews. Addison's disease. Addison's disease called adrenal insufficiency is an uncommon disorder that occurs when the body does not produce enough uh, of certain hormones. Guys, hospital, this is the, yani, the hospital of the origin of eponyms in the whole world. Uh, was apparently the place to work in the 19th century if you wanted to have a disease named after you. Thomas Addison, a colleague of Bright and Hodgkin, at Guy's Hospital, he described the adrenal disorder and he, they call it Addison's disease. Gaucher. Gaucher disease is the result of a buildup of certain fatty acids in certain organs, particularly spleen and liver. Uh, this causes organ enlargement and the mainly presentation is huge hepatosporinomegaly. Philippe Gaucher is a French doctor. Um, in 1882, Dr. Gaucher was puzzled by a patient who had an enlarged spleen. He thought the patient died of leukemia. However, he was interested in the case and with an autopsy, he discovered that the spleen was not just engorged. The organ itself had enlarged cells. Those enlarged cells are now known as Gaucher cells. Kleinfelter syndrome. You know Kleinfelter syndrome, right? The genetic condition in which men have an extra X chromosome bears the name of Harry Kleinfelter, a young Boston endocrinologist who published a landmark study while working under the total age of endocrinologist star Dr. Albright. By the way, Kleinfelter is a lucky person because he was just collecting cases and not included in the study. But his doctor was kind enough, his, his, his mentor was kind enough to include his name in the, as first name. And from that time, Kleinfelter is the well-known case for Kleinfelter syndromes, and all other doctors are forgotten. So he's a lucky person. Edward syndrome, a serious genetic disorder is known as trisomy 18, caused by an addition, additional copy of chromosome 18 in some or all cells in the body. It may, in many cases, where it occurs, it causes miscarriage and stillbirth. But I have patient in, in Cairo, um, seven years, and she's Edward. John Helton Edward was born in London in 1928. Edward was the first to report a description of multiple congenital malformation associated with the presence of an extra chromosome. Torrid syndrome. Torrid syndrome is an abnormal facial behavior. Most of the time, the child is moving his face, making noises through his nose, his throat. If you find, uh, if you, um, if you have a patient with Torrid uh, syndrome, you cannot um, stay for five minutes in front of him. People who have tics cannot stop their body from doing these tics. French neurologist Georges. Jealous de la Torre first described that this, uh, the illness that now bears his name, and instead he referred to the condition as malade du tic. Uh, Torre, the mentor and the contemporary James Martin Charcot, renamed the illness after Torre in 1893. A deluded former patient shot uh, this doctor, but he survived. Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma is a type of cancer that affects the lymphatic system. British pathologist Thomas Hodgkin first described the cancer that now bears his name. Hodgkin published a study on some morbid appearance of uh, the uh, absorb, um, absorbent glands and spleen the, uh, that year, but the condition did not bear his name until a fellow physician he is faithful enough. Uh, Samuel Wilkes rediscovered Hodgkin's work. Asperger? Asperger's syndrome. You know the killer? in Egypt, the one who killed his colleague, Asperger syndrome. Uh, he is autistic, who is very intelligent. It's classified as an autistic spectrum disorder. The tradition has Asperger first described the syndrome that now bears his name in 1944 after observing a group of children who suffered from the As uh, Asperger and he named them uh, autistic psychopathy. He called his patients the little professors. 
Interestingly, you know, uh, you know some uh, famous people with Asperger syndrome? You know? There is a uh, football player, what's his name? Messi? Messi? Has Asperger? Who else? Uh, Newton? Has Asperger syndrome? Isaac Newton, yes. Uh, when Newton was giving lecture, he was giving lecture in another room because he cannot face people. Uh, the term Asperger syndrome did not come into widespread usage until 1981. Patau syndrome. Patau syndrome, also known as trisomy 13, is a rare and serious genetic disorder caused by having an additional copy of chromosome 13 in some or all of the body cell. It affects about one in every 5,000 births, so the risk increases with the mother's age. Geneticist Klaus Patau was born in Germany and he discovered uh, the condition. He returned to Germany and worked at Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of Biology until he emerged to USA. And he has the nationality, that's why his name is written under the USA uh, nationality um, eponyms. Crohn's disease, another lucky doctor. One of the chronic inflammatory diseases of the digestive tract. In 1932, three new New York physicians named Barry Brand, Kron, Leon uh, Jansberg, and Cordon Oppenheim published a paper describing a new sort of intestinal inflammation since Kron's name was listed first alphabetically. That's why the disease still now is Kron's, although he can be named by it, with, with the name of any other of his two colleagues. Salmonellosis. Daniel Elmer Salmon was a veterinary pathologist who ran a uh, United States Division of Arch uh, Agriculture microorganism research program during the late 19th century. Although Salmon did not actually discover the type of bacterium that now bears his name, famed the epidemiologist Theobald Smith isolated the bacteria in 1885. What about female physicians? Virginia Upton. Is the, most, is the most important of them named after Virginia Abgar. I thought she was a nurse, but she was not. She was an anesthetist. Uh, from her name, appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respiration. And by the way, they are rejecting the word grimace. But they use it just to keep her name uh, uh, famous, usually. Dabovitz syndrome. Dabovitz syndrome. Dubovitz is a very intelligent woman. I will see. I will show you how. The score assessment of the newborn for the apparent gestational age by considering uh, both neurologic and external signs of development. Lely Dubovitz is a pediatric neurologist who developed the Dubovitz score. She took her way into medical school, keeping her lab. She was a lab uh, assistant, uh, 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 not, not working as a physician uh, at first. She got married to Ms. Dr. Dobovitz. You know, there is Dobovitz syndrome and Dobovitz uh, disease. And she, when she got married to Dr. Dobovitz, she named the disease Dobovitz star. So now Dobovitz is a famous name and Lady is not known. Kazabach Mirat. Kazabach Mirat syndrome is characterized by the combination of rapidly growing vascular tumors, thrombocytopenia, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, and consumptive coagulopathy. It's named after H. Egoni Hasbach and Catherine Kramgrat, who is a pediatrician. Klambikay paralysis is a rare type of birth injury of the nerves around the newborn shoulder. Klambikay paralysis affects the movement of the lower part of the hand. Dojeri Klambikay was an American uh, born French medical doctor. She uh, was a feminist and she. Uh, despite facing uh, scorn for being the only woman in French hospitals, uh, she eventually went to gain a reputation for her skills in the medical field. Ebstein Barr, Ebstein Barr is named after woman. Ebstein Barr virus, also known as human herpes virus 4, is a member of herb, uh, the herpes virus family. It is one of the most common human viruses. Uh, Yvonne uh, Margaret Balding was an Irish virologist, co-discovered of human herpes virus 4, also with Sir Anthony Epstein. Immediately following completion of her PhD, the, she emigrated to Melbourne, that's why all her investigations are in Australia. Cornelia Delange 
as a syndrome characterized by slow growth before and after birth, leading to short stature, intellectual disability, and xenophobia. Cornelia Delange was a Dutch pediatrician. Delange was at the um, forefront education of women in the Netherlands. She fought uh, the prejudice against the woman in the um, 18th century. She wrote books and uh, brochures about children for a wider audience. Uh, Cornelia Delange made significant contribution in pediatric neurology. Icardi. Syndrome. Icardi syndrome is a genetic malformation syndrome characterized by partial or complete absence of corpus callosum, the presence of retinal abnormalities and seizures in the form of infantile spasm. Early onset of encephalopathy, apparently genetic. This was first described in 1984 by observation of eight families by these two eminent neurologists. One of them is Icardi and the other is uh, Francois uh, Gauquet. While uh, Dr. Icardi is a well known uh, neurologist um, on, on, in history, but the one who collected cases and wrote the paper was um, his colleague, but nobody is, uh, is remembering her. Sorry, you had Icardi syndrome, please. Icardi? Yes. Absent, 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 uh, for nurses, you know, any nurse who had her uh, um, uh, yeah, eponym uh, after her name? Uh, we'll see. A probable nodule bulging in the umbilicus as a result of metastasis of malignant cancer is named his sister, Marie Joseph Noe. How she discovered this? Uh, she was assisting the doctor. And while she was cleaning the umbilical, peri-umbilical area in patients with cancer, she discovered that there are swelling around the umbilicus. That's why the name of Sister jo Mary Joseph knows. So Sister Mary Joseph is the one who, uh, who first wrote about the metastasis in the peri-umbilical region of gastric carcinoma. Patients who, uh, after whom uh, the name of the disease, we have uh, Lugerin disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. You know, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, there is an Egyptian player, what's his name? Egyptian player now has the same disease. I want no one. Okay. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis are progressive nervous disorders uh, that affect nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, causing loss of muscle control. This one is very famous, he was very powerful, very clever, and unfortunately he had uh, this disease. Christmas disease is the uh, initial description of hemophilia B in 1952 reported after a patient was a boy named Christmas at the age of five years, and at the same time, Hedgeman, which is deficiency of factor 12, he was a worker uh, in railway, and uh, the first diagnosed case was Hedgeman deficiency disease. Lankolin sign, Lankolin sign. You know Lankolin sign? When someone has aortic regurg, um, when he is sitting with his leg crossed, he is moving his leg with pulsations. This is Lankolin sign. The first one uh, who discovered this sign was Lankolin himself. Uh, Van Gogh syndrome, yes. self-mutilation. Self-mutilation. Uh, this disturbed tendency to self-mutilate uh, has been um, uh, has borne his name. Taban, uh, you know his famous uh, drawing, of the famous paint, sunflower paint, and heart knob disease. Heart knob disease, or what is called the Lagra-like disease. Uh, first discovered in Aydin Hartnup, a 12 years old boy. Then we have discovered that the whole family had this disease and since that time they started to discover there is an immune an amino acid abnormality, peptophan, is the cause of their signs. Geographical region, we have the rhesus factor. All of you have the blood group rhesus, now we are using the RH. Uh, now we are using for uh, rhesus, 
you know, it is a monkey. Uh, when Dr. Carl Langsteuer and Alexander Winner, who at the time believed uh, it to be a similar engine, found a rhesus monkey. Uh, now we know that there is no relation between the serum of these monkeys and uh, the, this blood group, but the, this um, uh, 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 name is now very famous and we cannot change it. Lyme disease. Uh, is rash, fever, chills, fatigue, muscle and joint aches with headache. Lyme disease is the most common vector-borne disease in the United States. And uh, there are certain areas where this uh, sign is um, uh, uh, put just to warn the residents. In 1975, a woman is the one who discovered there is something abnormal and brought many patients with fever and chills. They, dis they started to discover the Lyme disease. Legionnaire's disease is a serious type of pneumonia and people can get sick from swallowing and drinking water infected with this bacteria. Here's a nice story about Legionnaire's disease. Uh, the word legion means uh, a group. When a group of uh, veterans uh, met in one of the hotels in Philadelphia and the water was polluted, Three quarter of these doctors died. Uh, maybe after ten days of the return to their countries, and at that time the hotel was closed. And when they reopened this hotel, uh, they forced the owner uh, not to use the first five floors, only the higher floors. That's me in this hotel. I was staying there last year in the 18th floor. I don't know why it is. What about banned uh, eponyms? Reiter syndrome. I, I, all of you know Reiter syndrome, but he's a nazist. That's why it was obsolete. Reactive arthritis, the form of inflammatory arthritis. And the German physician Hans Konrad Julius Reiter is the one who discovered the case, but all the investigations was on uh, um, Jewish prisoners, that's why they have taken the name from him. He does not deserve it, in their opinion. What is the funniest eponym is the Tashima syndrome. What is Tashima syndrome? Is an American physician who proudly named a syndrome of himself. Tashima syndrome describes a condition in which a physician searches earnestly for a new symptom, sign, syndrome, or disease in which to attend his or her name on it. Thank you very much. I see no questions now. <laughs> Thank you for all that for this uh, nice presentation. Okay. And we'll see, uh, thank you everybody. We'll see you next uh, lecture.